Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, Robo Papa here. Um, this will be the final video out of uh, three with the uh, Adreno and sensors. So this is basically the final model and how it looks like. So as we talked about, we have two ping sensors um, and I created a base for each ping sensor. Um, that way we'll hold it. And I 3D printed that and it's right over here. So the ping sensor with my custom board is actually sitting on top of this and I hot glue it, that way it will not move. Then hot glue in the bottom right over here. So we have two ping sensors. They slightly not align correctly, but um, that's affecting a little bit of the, the reading. But I think it's good for now. I also printed over here a base for the battery. Um, that the battery is basically sliding in and out from it. That way it's easy to, to take it out. And as we talked before, there's the Adreno on the bottom, the shield, the motor shield from Adafruit on the top, and then the sensor shield from Saint, uh, Sensemark. That way I can connect the ping sensors uh, to it. I went with this uh, Magician chassis in the end uh, because the tank was requiring more amps, especially when it gets like down on the floor and start to have uh, friction. So I just went with this um, model in the end. Um, I'll have a demo on the how it's running and avoiding some obstacles. And we can look at the code right now, that way it will make sense uh, what I did. So let's move to the computer. All right, so let's look at the code that just I wanted to show you before uh, we look at the code. Here are the previous two videos that you can look at um, where I'm showing how to use the ping sensor and then how to give like a small demo under a controlled test environment. And as always, please don't forget to uh, subscribe. Um, that's uh, very helpful for, for me. And uh, please leave your comments also in the, below. That way I will know what, what you guys are thinking. And if you have any questions, uh, also ask, and I'll be able to answer you. So let's move to the code. Um, as with the previous videos, I'm not going to go over everything that I'm including over here. And I'll try to touch just the main um, things that are important. So the first thing is this uh, structure, uh, which actually will hold uh, the, the speed, the direction, and the delay. Um, of how long do we want to delay between each uh, interval? Um, I covered the, the ping, which that's something that I created, and I covered it, I believe, in video number two, um, as well as all the Adafruit. Um, we have two motors, uh, the left and the right, and we have the left and the right pings. And one thing to notice that the ping left will really will control the um, speed and direction of the right motor, while the ping right will control the speed and direction of the left motor as well as the delay. Um, so basically we're just assigning everything over here and in the loop itself, we're just going, we're getting the distance from the right ping and the left ping. Um, and then we calling this, two the, this function for both the left motor and the right motor to get the speed and direction and how long we want to delay. And then it just, basically these two if statements are the one that's controlling everything. If we are, both of the motors are on a break, then what I do is basically rotating in place with 150 speed and I'm waiting for three quarters of a second. And that should allow it to actually rotate 180 degrees. That way it can move away from that obstacle and force it, the, the car to be on a full brake, which is usually if you if it heading towards a wall directly and it didn't rotate in time. Otherwise, it will take the motor right speed um, and the direction and the motor right speed with the speed itself. And once again, the motor right speed is the one that's controlling the, the, the motor itself. Um, as you can see over here, the distance left is going to the motor right speed and distance right eventually will get the motor left speed. So after these two lines of code, then we are assigning the, to the right motors already. 
And then the delay itself is really just the maximum between those two delays that got back from each call over here. So the main function basically is this get motor speed, which returning us that structure. Um, and all it does, it's really looking at the distance and trying to map accordingly to a certain distance or to a certain, sorry, a, a certain speed of the motor. So for example, if the distance of that ping is greater or equal to 21, um, and I should say it's inches, um, and you can set it up um, right over here with that true, it tells that it's one wanted to be in inches. So as long as you're 21 inches ab and above, um, and really the limit over here is 40, we want to map the 21 to 40 to be speed of 201 and 255. And you can play with those values um, as you like with your program and depending on your motors and the, the torque that they have, etc. And I put a delay of 100 um, milliseconds. And then as you're getting closer and closer towards the obstacle, I'm actually reducing the speed of that particular motor. And, but also I'm increasing the delay that way there was have enough time for the for the car to turn around or to drive slower and then again until getting to a full brake uh, which once again this if both of the vehicles or both of the motors are on a full brake you will actually try to rotate in space in place so the idea of the brake itself is really if one motor is on a brake and the other motor is still running really the vehicle will start turning um, towards the direction of the motor that it's broke uh, on a full stop. And then if the distance is really close to the obstacle, we basically start driving backwards. And if it's really, really close, like about to collide, it's going on uh, almost a full speed. So that's basically it. That's uh, how I wrote that code. And obviously, it, I'm sure you guys can uh, figure out a better way or a different way, which I would love to hear and see your um, your code in the comments. Um, so please leave a comments below um, with your your code or questions or even improvements over here. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll try to answer to my best knowledge. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it's really uh, very helpful for me. Um, thank you guys.